This is the Cam Duck hidden camera charger with night vision. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get the user manual. Here is the hidden camera charger itself. They give you a screw. Over here is a card reader for micro SD cards. You can see the slot right there. The other end is just USB like that. And this thing here is what I like to call a guitar pick. What that's actually for is for the panel on the unit. I'll show it to you a little bit later just to help you get it out. If you got fingernails of any kind you could probably get it yourself. Anyway let me tell you a little bit about this first and I'll explain everything as we go and then of course we're gonna test it out. This has a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connection for ease of connecting to your phone. As you see there are four AC outlets on here. There are also three charging ports on the outer sides are USB-A ports right there and the center is a USB-C port. There are also a couple of other little things there that you kind of wouldn't really notice or might just take for a speck of dust or something on it like that and that's all the camera workings right there. This screw would go through that and that would secure this to an outlet if you are using a standard US outlet uh, the standard style not the decora style so that will help to secure it but it also does have a ground lug over there to go in the bottom out outlet to help stabilize it as well of course you know if your outlet is by the floor where a lot of them are there's only so much it can do but a lot of people have them on their kitchen you know on the right behind the uh, counter on the backsplash right there that would be a great place for something like this and you always need to plug more and more and more stuff in right there you can insert a micro SD card into this this particular one does not come with one but you can put a card in up to 256 gigabytes in size this uses the cam duck app and you can set it up to give you a notification on your device when motion has been detected right here. Now the camera is a native 1080p. It claims that it can upscale it to 4K if that helps you. It's there for you. And the lens on it is 160 degrees to see out kind of like side to side like that. All right, with that said, let's take a look at the panel over here, which is on the back. Now, again, you can use a little guitar pick guy over there, but you probably can just get it out if you have enough uh, fingernails like that. See, like that. And all there is there is the slot for the micro SD card. So now I'm going to put a card in here, and we'll get the phone and set it up. Let's just start with the really stupid stuff here. Obviously, it will charge your phone. So we'll go ahead and plug that in right there. And there you go. It's charging. Okay, here we are here in the CamDuck app. I'm going to turn my outlet on here so the device gets power as I had had it before. There's a little red and blue light on the device that will turn on for a short time while you set it up. So in the app here, we're going to hit start, and we are going to uh, add a device here. So we're going to click on the plus in the upper right corner. Okay, so now in here we have remote monitor setting and close range monitor setting. That's what I'm going to do. The remote allows you to do it while you're overseas or something like that. It's really just one more step, adding in your Wi-Fi network and password. But in this case, we're going to connect directly to the device. We'll check that box. The light is flashing. Check that off. And it says to connect to the Wi-Fi of the unit. And it gives the password. Write that down because you will forget it. Please connect to the camera Wi-Fi. Then return to the app. Here it is here. Please connect to the camera Wi-Fi. Then return to the app. Please connect. And there we go. Now... We are connected, 
and we'll allow everything here. It found the camera right there. You can set up the Bluetooth configuration for it as well. And magically, there I am. It's just that simple. There we go right there. So that is the uh, picture that you get from it right there. This is, of course, just a screen recording uh, from the phone. And that, you can zoom in and out and all kinds of great stuff like that. There's a alarm message at the bottom. You can take a photo, record video, view the album, take a look at the files on the SD card, and uh, there's full screen. I don't know if the recording uh, gets that. Let's see. Try it again. I don't know if the recording of that actually gets it but that certainly does work right there so you can see me clear as day right there let's go ahead and try out night vision as well i'm gonna get the other camera recording this screen so you can see that okay let's go shut the room lights out and see what that looks like And there we go. It automatically adjusts. I do have some light that it's coming in from the window over here. But other than that, it's pretty dark in here. Kind of would need really a flashlight to see around unless you want to stub your toe. But it certainly does just fine for night vision. Just to give you an idea of who might be coming by. Earlier, I had inserted a micro SD card into the unit. So now you're going to watch some footage that the device itself has recorded to the micro SD card. You've already actually seen this footage because the device captured it at the same time, of course, that I was recording. That's kind of the point. Uh, but you're seeing it now from a different perspective. Okay, let's go shut the room lights out and see what that looks like. And there we go. It automatically adjusts. I do have some light that it's coming in from the window over here. But other than that, it's pretty dark in here. Kind of would need really a flashlight to see around unless you want to stub your toe. But it certainly does just fine for night vision. Just to give you an idea of who might be coming by. So there you go. Passing by, you really would not notice anything. The red and blue lights that were on right when uh, the unit was turned on um, go out after, oh, maybe 30 seconds a minute, something like that. So that's not going to be an issue whatsoever. Also, I forgot to mention up here, there's a little lip there. I don't have room for it, but you could stick your phone in that and kind of lean it up against the wall like that while it's plugged in and charging and meanwhile it's recording video and like i said you could go the extra step and put in your wi-fi password and wi-fi uh, ssid and that will uh, allow this to go over the internet and then you can access it you know anywhere when you're out at the grocery store you could check on the nanny and make sure that everything is a-okay stuff like that and once again, otherwise it just looks kind of like a charger. And if you secure it down with the included screw, then chances are very good it's not just going to be unplugged randomly or anything like that. So once again, this was the Cam Duck Hidden Camera Charger. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.